Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Thursday, August 6th, and now it's 1047 a.m. And I want to share with you a video that got put up just a little bit ago on Grafted in Team Jesus on the Brideon.com website. And it's a warning from the Lord. The new Madrid earthquake is imminent and Yellowstone to soon follow. Wake up. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put my finger over the camera and let you listen, okay? So you're just not looking at me, you're just listening. Okay, so here we go. Morning. Um, we've got some very heavy warnings here for you. Um, the Lord brought, us, brought it to our attention just a little while ago. Um, Jennifer on our team had a dream. Keep in mind that Jennifer lives just on the western edge of the New Madrid fault line. And I'm talking like right there on the edge of it, okay? And um, she said, she wrote me this morning when she woke up and she said, First, here is this I looked up. Overview. Did you know the earthquakes, did you know that earthquakes can cause changes in groundwater levels? Very large earthquakes can even cause water level fluctuations in some wells thousands of miles away, depending on the local geological conditions around the well. Okay. And she says, I dreamed last night and this is what I remember. When you see the white river rise, get in your car and go northwest for a trip. There will be a great earthquake. And she said, that river goes under a bridge right by my house called the Sillamore River located here. I flipped out and I went, oh my gosh, that is the Lord saying New Madrid fault it quake is imminent. So I was like, whoa, I'm flipping out and I'm putting a message on our, our team messenger. And right after, I look up at my email. Now, I'm telling you, I looked at my email and there was nothing there. And then I look and I see this message, okay? Now, what's crazy is this message was put up last night on 444 Prophecy News site. Yet, it doesn't hit my email until this morning, which is weird. But I know it's God. Because I had literally saw it minutes after I read that from Jennifer. Okay, so get this. There will be a great shaking. Cryptic one. She got this, uh, the first part of the message she received on July 20th. Um, and it was released last night at 825 on August 5th. There will be a great shaking that will come upon this earth. Who will be ready to stand then? I, the Lord God Jehovah, will will rise up to meet my people. They shall know who I am is, is in that day. Fear will overcome many as the earth splits and the foundations crumble. Only that which is in me will be left standing. Hear me. In that day, all will be shaken. Buildings, foundations, homes, and hearts. And then on 8-1, she re received the continuation of that message. All will be shaken on that day. I will shake home, homes, foundations, and the hearts of men. No one, not one, will escape the great shaking that is coming to this land, America. America, you will experience great shaking than any other nation for the evil you have visited upon the world. You have led by example. You have not followed my precepts and the world has fallen after you. Shaking, 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 the likes of which the earth has never seen. And it is but the beginning of the great awakening of the world. Soon all will know my name. My name will be on the lips of many who will be saved because of it, and many who will curse it. It is my name that will be the my, it is my name that will be the last word on the breath of many, whether they remain 
or are taken from this world. Prepare for the great shaking, my children. Prepare your hearts to withstand the destruction and devastation you will witness. Prepare to minister to those around you who will be calling out my name from the depths of sorrow and misery and fear. Prepare to minister to the lost sheep as they return to the fold. I am the good shepherd and I will guide my sheep home safely to their eternal reward. It comes, it comes. There is no stopping this great force that is to come upon the earth. It comes from beneath, from the shifting of the tectonic plates which are unstable. As you can see, that can totally confirms Jennifer's dream. The ground, may <clears throat> the ground may appear to be normal, but underneath, the earth is erupting in the form of sinkholes, caverns, volcanoes, gushers, geysers, and the like. The great Yellowstone will erupt, bringing much chaos and death. Geysers will spew forth. Lava and magma will rise up in fury. Cities will be leveled. Buildings will crumble to dust and be swallowed up by the great openings in the earth. It will be as if the pit of hell itself has opened up. I am giving my people who have term, turned from me and the world that resides in darkness a chance to turn, turn, turn back to their first love, me, their Savior and King, Yeshua. The day is coming soon when the earth and the hearts of men will tremble at the coming of, this, of the mighty King of your planet. Be ready to bring in the harvest of souls hungry to know me. As you see, that's the confirmation First Fruits is about to happen. The shaking will awaken many for the coming of my Son in glory. I am who I am. My will will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Rejoice, O saints of God, for your redemption draws nigh. And I will read the scriptures as well. Isaiah 26, 21. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain. Hebrews 12, 25 through 27. See that you do not refuse him who speaks. For if they did not escape, escape who refused him who spoke on the earth, much more we not escape, will we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. He shakes, uh, Job 9, 6, He shakes the earth out of its place, and its pillars tremble. Jeremiah 10.10, 10, but the Lord is, a, is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting King. At his wrath, the earth will tremble and the nations will not be able to endure his indignation. That's it. It's over, guys. It's here. Prepare your hearts. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Wow, that's a heavy word. That is a heavy word. And I pray that anybody who sees this and isn't ready or hasn't given your heart to the Lord, that you will seriously think about it. We know these things are going to happen. The scientists know it. The government knows it. They already have maps drawn showing what the U.S. is going to look like. Now, how is that? How do they know it? I mean, they know. You can tell with instruments that these things that 
happen every so often. So they have an idea of it. So even the scientists know it. The government. So please prepare. And for those of you on my channel, I pray as always that we will be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, this video, and the internet connection, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. Let's keep each other in our prayers. I'll talk to you later.